Hello everyone, I'm Jay and here are the most frequently asked questions about Cyber Essentials Scheme, right? So what is Cyber Essentials Scheme or Cyber Essentials Certification? It is a certification for businesses introduced by UK government and it is supported by the industry, right? It is maintained uh, or um, overlooked by National Cyber Security Center which is, you know, again, uh, UK government organization. And there is an accreditation body called IASME, uh, IASME Consortium, and they issue the certificates to all the certification bodies and certification bodies um, deal with the customers who assess the customers and issue the certificates, right? So it is a certification for businesses and supported by the industry and introduced by the government and by implementing or by achieving the cyber essential certification for your business, uh, you're likely to, uh, to cut down 85% of the most common cyber attacks, right? Okay, so next question, who needs the cyber essential certification? Do I need cyber essential certification, right? In, as a, as, a, as a rule of thumb, or there is a regulation already, if you are tendering for any government work, uh, you are expected to have cyber essentials certification for your business, right? Uh, but there are more and more tenders, even in the private sector, are asking, for, uh, asking the suppliers to have this certification in place, right? At least cyber essential certification. So you will see that uh, happening more and more. So it is in your best interest to ha achieve the certification that will give you competitive advantage and shows your commitment towards cybersecurity, right? So I hope I answered your question there. How do I achieve uh, the certification? How do I get Cyber Essentials certificate, right? So what you need to do is identify a certification body. There is a list of certification bodies with IASME Consortium. Um, it's a it's a website. I will link. I will leave the link in, in our blog below. Or easiest, you can get in touch with us, and then um, engage a certification body and apply for the certification. Depending on what level of certification you're going for, um, we will take you through the process. So you can ask at this point. Okay, how many levels and what kind? What different kinds of certifications are there for cyber essentials? Right, there are there is there are two right. Uh, first one is called just cyber essentials. You know, I know naming could have been better, but let let's just call it cyber essentials basic. And the second level, most advanced level, is called cyber essentials plus. Okay, now you have the question: What is the difference, and which one should I get it right? So the difference, uh, cyber essentials basic one is it's a self assessment um, certification. So you will get a questionnaire from us, certification body, and you will go through the questionnaire, you will answer the questions and send it to us, or in fact, it is an online um, portal. You would fill in all the um, answers for the questions, and then we will assess the questionnaire uh, or your answers, and it will be a pass or fail, right? If you fail in the Cyber Essentials basic one, you will have three days to fix the issues and then resubmit the application. If not, it's a fresh application again. Now, Cyber Essentials Plus, um, it's a similar process, but whatever you said, well, you need to go through the Cyber Essentials Basic first uh, to apply for the plus, right? So on the plus part, whatever you said on your questionnaire, we will verify it, we will double check. So there will be an audit. It used to be on-site audit, but due to COVID-19, it's pretty much remote audit. We will scan your systems. We will do a, a, a antivirus test, a malware test. We'll do email test. We'll do downloads test, and we'll do external scanning on your network as well, and see um, if there are any gaps. If there are gaps, um, you will fail, and you will have uh, 30 days to fix and re resubmit the application. Um, if you fail that again, then you will have to make a fresh application, which means we have to go through the both again, right? That's that's what, that's the difference. The main difference is the audit, audit piece. Uh, your systems get audited, verified. Um, there is an assessment. So, right, so that, that's the main difference. And another main difference is cost. So, 
What does Cyber Essentials cost? Um, Cyber Essentials basic certification. Certification alone uh, costs 300 pounds plus what? And Cyber Essentials plus certification alone costs 1900 plus watt, plus watt. There are different certification bodies which charge different amounts. Some could be high, some could be low, but that's a general ballpark figure. Now, um, when I said certification alone, if you need work to be done to get your systems up to date, or if there are gaps identified, you need to fix them, then you will need to hire a IT, IT company or IT consultant who can fix those gaps, then it will cost a little bit more than what I just said, right? But the certification alone, nobody is allowed to uh, charge more than 300 pounds. Right, um, so what's the, how long does it take to get the certification certificate, right? For Cyber Essentials Basic, it could be from a couple of hours to one day to three days, anywhere between a couple of hours to three days, depending on your system, depending on your self-assessment um, questionnaire um, assessment, self-assessment, right? So if everything is well and good, uh, depending on the certification body's workload, um, it might take a couple of hours or three days. For 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 uh, with us tech force uh, we we promise all cyber essentials basic turnaround town around town sorry turnaround time if I can uh, pronounce it right um, to be one day so less than a day if it if it takes more than a day we'll do the certification for free and the cyber essentials plus again if all if your systems are all good it you can achieve it in a, in a couple of days or if there are gaps identified, then it depends on how quickly you can fix those gaps and uh, resubmit the application. So, uh, ball is in your court at that point, right? Um, for the audit, it depends on, you know, SSR's availability. Ideally, for, for example, take TechForce as an example, we can get it done in, you know, anywhere between less than a week, for sure, right? Cyber Essentials Plus. Now, how long is this certification valid for? Uh, the certification is valid for one year and you will need to go through the process again. This is a recertification process every year. So to be uh, compliant with Cyber Essentials uh, framework. Now, um, what's the, what are the security controls um, what, uh, within the framework? What, what do we test or what do we audit against? So there are five security controls uh, we will check against. That is firewalls, um, user access controls, secure configuration, patch management, and malware management. So these are the only five controls, and these are the only five we're going to um, audit against. Um, there are nothing else we would check upon, right? So it's like, think, think, about, think uh, like an MOT for your car. We just need to check what we need to check. That's it, right? The final question, What's the difference between Cyber Essentials and ISO 27001? ISO 27001 is a mainly a risk management framework for security and compliance, whereas Cyber Essentials is pretty much focusing on these five security, uh, technical security controls, as I said. It could be uh, a good starting point towards your ISO 27001, right? So, I hope that helps. Any further questions you may have, please leave them in the comments below and I will pick them up and answer them next time. All right. Until then, I'm Jay from TechForce. Thank you very much.